So, as Andrew mentioned, um, there is a huge community charity piece that sits behind the football club itself, which we know as Pompey and the Community. Um, can I introduce Claire Martin, the CEO of Pompey and the Community, and Bianca Robinson? CEO of the CEO Sleepout, there may be a clue there, for a quick five minute update on an extra special opportunity. Thank you. <laughs> Morning everyone. Um, yeah, we've got an ideal opportunity for everybody to get involved with. Uh, we've done this a couple of times, way back when, and in April, April the 17th, we'll be opening the doors of Fratton Park for a CEO Sleepout. And that's to raise money for those on the verge of homeless, the homeless in the city, working with Bianca from CEO Sleepout, which is the national organization. So the evening itself is a bit of networking because obviously we'll all be there together. I've just bumped into David Williams who says he's just thawed out from when he did it in 2019. So um, it can be fairly cold, but if you prepare properly, it can be um, a long night, but a great fun and a really good cause. So we usually end up in the Fratton end and a little bit of Astro below. Um, we're hoping we've trained the groundsman last time because last time he didn't want us there and the, the sprinklers came on at three o'clock in the morning, which was <laughs> added to the night's fun. Um, Can you promise that's not going to happen <laughs> no, again? <laughs> no. Andrew will sort that. Thank you, Andrew. Um, and then we have another organisation that comes in, does bacon rolls for breakfast and then um, if we've survived the night, we, we go home and catch up on a bit of sleep. But it really is a good cause and it's a really exciting place to sort of experience and be and although it is supporting a, a really serious cause which is only getting worse as we all know at the moment it's something that you know we could all get together on so it is called CEO sleep out you don't have to be a CEO you just have to be committed to raising a bit of funds that will go back into the city to help everybody who's really struggling at the moment so I'll just hand over to Bianca who can tell you a little bit more about the national organization well, thanks, Claire. Well, this will be the third time um, we've done this in Portsmouth, and, and Claire's right, we're, we're kind of a national charity. Um, pull back the curtain of the charity, and it really is just me going around the country trying to razz up the business people in cities across the UK. Um, but in Portsmouth today, since our very first one, is supported by Mark, who I'm sitting on the table with there, and Claire, and, and various other bods from the business community um, here in Portsmouth. We've raised 70 grand for Portsmouth, and this year alone, so, thank you. Um, so this year alone, we've got a target of 50K from the one, one night sleeping outside under the stars at Fratton Park. I can't promise any of you a good night's sleep. That's not what it's about. But it's also not about mocking what a rough sleep would go through. You know, the, nothing we could do could come close to that sense of aloneness, that fear that anxiety, that sleep-deprived state that, that somebody who has to sleep rough would go through night after night. It's not about that. It's a business networking event, really, with a twist, which is we're raising huge money that is going to make such a massive difference to charities and organisations on the front line of homelessness in Portsmouth and Spectrum. So we'll have um, the EC Roberts Centre, um, we've, we've distributed funds to Society of St. James, funds will go to Pompey in the community, and of course, you know, someone like Claire, whose organisation does such an amazing job of bringing young people in who may have otherwise fallen off the bus, um, and gets them re-engaged in education and in employment. You know, it's so important in closing that loop that can lead somebody into a pathway towards homelessness. I know Gerald at the council has got amazing things happening when it comes to homelessness, but we still need to support those people on the front line that are actually out there changing people's lives. And you only have to walk down the, the street to kind of see the level of inequality worse than it's ever, ever been. Um, so I urge every single one of you, this is an unforgettable experience, not, <laughs> not simply because of the sprinklers that may or may not, I mean, I promise you they won't come on. But it's an unforgettable experience because you're rubbing shoulders with your peers in the business community, you know, senior level execs and CEOs and teams, and we create a great buzz and a great atmosphere. We have a laugh, we have fun, um, and you'll wake up. Well, you might not even sleep. Let's be really honest about that. But at three in the morning, you know, when you're looking up at the stars and you're thinking, oh my goodness, you know, 
how am I going to get through the next couple of hours to, to breakfast, let alone how does somebody do this night after night? You actually start to realize that as business people and business owners, you have a power, you have an opportunity, and I would argue that you also have a responsibility to actually build actions into your business that strengthen the very fabric of your communities and society. And I know all of you will be doing things that create that social value already because it's a fast moving train that's already left the station and business is getting on board. And we know that without demonstrating that kind of CSR or social value approach, we could be losing customers that want to work with us. We could be losing employees that want to work with us because they want to see businesses that are doing the right thing and giving back. So there's lots of amazing reasons to get involved. As the day goes on, I mean, I've, we've driven down, I'm from the north of England, I've driven down today. <laughs> uh, I haven't had a chance to get my postcards onto your tables, but we've got a little postcard where you just pop your little name and email address and we'll contact you, give you the information. If you want to jump on board and be one of those 50 people that spend the night outside at the football ground that you love um, for an amazing <coughs> cause, we'll get in touch with you and I hope to see all of your beautiful faces there. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Claire. Thank you, for Brianka. And I think as we're doing this, can we have a little show of hands? Let's commit. Let's make a commitment in front of everybody. Who is going to be there? Right, okay. Bianca, run around. Deliver your postcards. Because that's the key thing. Let's make some action because that is such an incredibly good cause. Thank you so, so much.